Religion Within the Limits of Reason Alone, pages 4 through 6. Morality generates religion as its projected end point. It is true, therefore, that morality requires no end for right conduct. The law, which contains the formal condition of the use of freedom in general, suffices. Yet an end does arise out of morality, for how the question, what is to result from this right conduct of ours, is to be answered, and towards what as an end, even granted it may not be wholly subject to our control, we might direct our actions and abstentions so as at least to be in harmony with that end, these cannot possibly be matters of indifference to reason. Hence, the end is no more than an idea of an object which takes the formal condition of all such ends as we ought to have, duty, and combines it with whatever is conditioned and in harmony with duty in all the ends which we do have, happiness proportioned to obedience to duty. That is to say, the idea of a highest good in the world for whose possibility we must postulate a higher, moral, most holy and omnipotent being, which alone can unite the two elements of this highest good. Most important of all, however, this idea arises out of morality and is not its basis. It is an end, the adoption of which, as one's own, presupposes basic ethical principles. Morality thus leads ineluctably to religion, through which it extends itself to the idea of a powerful moral lawgiver outside of mankind, for whose will, that is the final end of creation, which at the same time can and ought to be man's final end. Interpretation Not only does religion not provide the ground for morality, Kant claims here that elements of Christianity are themselves the products of rational morality. We act morally for the sake of the moral law alone, but this moral activity has an end, a result, and this consequent state can be addressed by religion. In fact, we find that holding this end in mind will assist us in directing and harmonizing our moral actions more effectively. Thinking of the end state produced by moral action allows us to combine our performing moral duty and our being happy in an imagined future state. This leads us ultimately to the ideas of heaven, a state where happiness perfectly matches worthiness to be happy, and of God, an omnipotent moral being with the power to unite happiness with moral worth, to make the truly good truly happy. In the two shorter excerpts that follow, Kant reiterates that religion is consequent upon morality and not prior or foundational for it. We are religious because we are moral, not vice versa. <laughs>